Hello, folks. Well, I stretched it out as long as I could. I'm working on my last nebula of the season. I mean, there is nothing left for me to capture for nebulas. And even this one is already way past the meridian. It's over there somewhere. So I don't know how much time I have left to capture it. It's uh, it's Lauer's Nebula. I hope I'm saying that right. It's spelled L-O-W-E-R. So it's either Lauer or Lower. I don't know, but so far I have eight hours of HA, eight hours of sulfur, and I'm gonna see how much oxygen I end up with. I, I hope I can get enough to, to make it look good. It'll be over a 20 hour project, so um, we'll have to see. And my Rasa, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's going after that comet again, so we'll see how that looks to see if it's any brighter. But uh, that's another video, so uh, I'm going inside. Hey, I just snuck this part into my video because these magazines just arrived. I had a couple of courtesy issues from Astronomy Magazine, and that's because they used one of my pictures. I'm, I'm on page 71, and I wouldn't have even recognized it, though, because it's, it's badly faded out. But anyway, it's always nice to get in a in a magazine and have your, your picture published. Um, this is the fifth time. Well, I shouldn't be counting, but it's the fifth time I'm in this magazine. So um, normally I would run up to the bookstore and buy out the whole rack, but I, I don't even know if the bookstore is open anymore with this virus thing going on. So I think I'll skip it. I don't know. I wouldn't want to go anyway. So anyway, back to my imaging session. <laughs> hey, I didn't think I'd ever start today. I'm about uh, nearly two hours late because of clouds and my nebula is definitely going away. You can see my my, my uh, Explorer Scientific telescope. Um, I'm going to be hitting the garage pretty soon, but whatever I get, I get. Maybe I'll finish tonight. Maybe I won't. I think it's going to be clear again tomorrow night, so I, I can continue if I didn't get enough data today. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, let's see how I'm doing here. So I have around eight hours so far, like I said, of HA, eight hours of sulfur, and now I'm doing oxygen at gain 7515 and you can see what it looks like for oxygen yeah it's another one of them I can't see no data it's gonna be a challenge of course and uh, to give you an example of what the HA looks like that's one sub for HA so I definitely when you can see data in a single sub that's a good sign so when I stack the eight hours of HA, I think it'll look pretty good. So uh, let's check in on my guiding here. Oh, what's my histogram look like for the... Yeah, the histogram looks pretty good off to the left here. Um, guiding, um, 1.07, yeah, it could be better, but right now when it's pointing that low, I don't really mind it. Let, let's take a look at the stars. Are the stars round? I think the stars are pretty round. You know, I remember when I was first getting into this hobby and I saw a YouTube video of someone showing off his stars after a, um, a, a five minute sub and his star was so round. I, I just couldn't believe, I could, couldn't believe it. It was amazing to me. And now I get round stars. <laughs> I mean, it, it just seemed like such a big deal to be able to do that. But once I finally figured out guiding, I think I'm good. <laughs> it's just funny when you first start, you can look back and, and see the stuff you were amazed at. So, uh, yeah, this is um, a four-minute sub, so uh, we'll, we'll just have to see how it comes out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, I'll see you later.